welcome back to dance destinations. With the easing of the sixth COVID lockdown in Victoria, I decided to take a trip down to Crip Point in Mornington Peninsula to shoot some of the shipwrecks there. Also, if you enjoy our videos, please do like and subscribe to our channel to stay updated on our new videos. Our first trip is to Crip Point, which is about one hour southeast of Melbourne, with a detour to Hastings. Our first stop is the HMAS Otama submarine, which is not technically a shipwreck. Morning everyone, I'm here at the Otama shipwreck. Right, walking in right now with my good friend Glenn. The HMS Otama is an Oberon-class submarine that was a specialist intelligence gathering mystery boat. The submarine is currently moored in Western Port Bay and is a short 5-minute walk from the main road. When it was decommissioned, it was sold in 2001 to the Western Port Oberon Association, which intended to preserve her as a museum ship. She has been moored in Crip Point while waiting for approval to be brought onto land. A storm during the recent COVID lockdown almost sank the submarine, which caused Parks Victoria to initiate proceedings to take control of the submarine and to scrap it. There is an ongoing battle between the association and Parks Vic and the outcome remains uncertain. Hence, we wanted to get down there as soon as lockdown was lifted and shoot some footage of the submarine in case she is scrapped. Across the road, you'll find the Victorian Maritime Center, which is a museum dedicated to the naval history run by the WPOA. There is a notice outlining their plans to bring the Otama submarine onshore at Hastings. The museum is run by volunteers and is open on weekends. After visiting the sub, we went for breakfast at Pelican Society in Hastings. Located on the foreshore, it offers a great view to complement its good food. The menu is frequently updated to reflect the seasonal ingredients available. They offer very innovative and well-presented breakfast and lunch options 7 days a week. Glenn and I needed our morning coffee after the early start and this cafe was perfectly situated near our next destination. We both had the chili scrambled eggs, which are quite good and provided a nice afterburn in addition to its savoury richness. Located just off the foreshore and pier in Hastings, 
you'll be able to see two shipwrecks. The first is the Red Bird, which was a tug that broke free of its moorings sometime in the 1940s. It became lodged at the sandbar off the pier and was abandoned. It is designated a heritage site and the wreck can be seen at low tide. The site is now home to many seagulls and pelicans. Further offshore is another shipwreck consisting of two ships that appear welded together. I'm afraid I couldn't find much details about the history of these ships, but it appears this twin hulled wreck is the Tragonina and Tanit, and was a dredge that was abandoned in 1966. This pretty much finished our shipwreck sightseeing trip this round. On our way back, we decided to stop by Johnny Ripe, which serves delicious pies and sausage rolls, and lasagna. They became famous for their apple pies, whose apples come from their own farm, but I wanted to pick up some of their delicious sausage rolls and lasagna this round. Their sausage rolls taste buttery and moist, and is well complemented by their homemade tomato chutney. After buying the pastries, you can sit in their well-maintained garden to enjoy your food. Our last stop on our return was the Mornington Botanical Rose Gardens, as the roses were in full bloom at that time. The gardens are well maintained by the volunteers, and you can see the many different varieties of roses here.
Well, that's it for this episode. Do join us next time as we explore the other shipwrecks around Melbourne. If you do know of other attractions to explore in this area, please do tell us in the comments below as I would love to check it out.